Hello my friends, Kurt Berglund with you, and I hope you're enjoying the holiday. I've had some tough holidays myself. This isn't one of them, but I know what it's like, and I hope that you're having a good one. And if you're not, I hope that uh, my videos over this week and next will give you some relief, enjoyment, entertainment, information, all that good stuff. Today we are doing game six of the Astratomatic original version series, best of seven that we are doing between the 1974 Oakland A's and the 1975 Boston Red Sox. We are up to game six uh, today and game seven will happen later uh, well, in just a few days, actually, um, if it's necessary. Uh, spoiler alert, if you want to check out the other uh, games there on my channel, on my playlist under Stratomatic Baseball. Uh, but the Red Sox are currently leading this series three games to two and are set to close it out today. The series is traveling back to Oakland Alameda County Coliseum. And so the A's will be the home team for game six and if necessary, game seven. Starting pitchers today will be a pair of left-handers, Bill Lee for the visiting Red Sox against Ken Holtzman for the homestanding Oakland A's. The game seven matchup will be Louis Tiant for if, it's, if it happens will be Louis Tian for the Red Sox and Jim Catfish Hunter for the A's who will be meeting for the third time. Uh, what else to tell you? Both these left-handers were soft tossers uh, in their day. And uh, uh, Hunter's card is an excellent one uh, for the 1974 A's better than Tion's 75 card for the Red Sox. So there's considerable pressure on the Red Sox to close this out today. Having said that, Tion beat Hunter in game one, uh, and then Hunter turned around and beat Tion in game four. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, so with all that said, uh, welcome. I'm glad you're here. And don't forget to subscribe and click like. I need your subscriptions to keep my channel going, my friends, and I do appreciate that very much. Let's go to the starting lineups for today's Game 6. For the visiting Boston Red Sox, leading off in right field, it's Dwight Evans batting second at second base, Denny Doyle, batting third at first base, Carl Yastrzemski, Batting fourth behind the plate, Carlton Fisk. Batting fifth in center field, Fred Lynn. Batting sixth in left field, Jim Rice. Batting seventh, the DH, Juan Benitez. Batting eighth, the third baseman, Rico Petroselli. And batting ninth, the shortstop, Rick Burleson. Bill Lee, there's his card. On the 1975 season, he was 17 and 9 with a 3.95 ERA in 260 innings of work. He had 41 games, 34 starts, so seven relief appearances, 17 complete games, and four shutouts. All right, for the homestanding Oakland A's. Alvin Dark's lineup looks like this. Leading off at shortstop, it's Bert Campanaris. Batting second in center field, Billy North. And we're missing our third baseman. That's not acceptable. Our third baseman for the Oakland A's today will be Sal Bando. He will bat third. There's Sal. Batting fourth in right field, Reggie Jackson. Batting fifth in left field, Joe Rudy. Betting sixth at first base, Gene Tennis. Betting seventh, the DHJ, Jesus Alou. Betting eighth, the catcher, Ray Fossey. And betting ninth, the second baseman, Dick Green. On the mound uh, for Oakland, it's Ken Holtzman. There's his card. 
and 19 and 17 on the 74 season with a 3.07 ERA, 255 innings of work. All right, so here we go with game six. Going to be rolling our three D6s and when necessary, our D20. All right, here we go. Dwight Evans leads off against Ken Holtzman, and he hits it on the ground to Sal Bando. Bando to his left, gloves it, and throws to Gene Tennis for out number one. And we are underway in game six. Here's Doyle against Holtzman. Hey, struck him out. Two going in the first. And here's Yaz. Nobody on, and two men out in the first inning. Holtzman's pitch to Yaz has popped up. Gene Tennis calling on the infield dirt, and he takes it for out number three. Go to the bottom of the first with no score in this one. All right, here's Bill Lee facing Bert Campanaris. Pitch to Campy is hit on the ground to Denny Doyle. Denny Doyle to his left is going to make the play to Carl Yastrzemski at first base, and there's one down in the Oakland first. Bill Lee, of course, pitched Game 7 in the 75 World Series. Game 6 was a do-or-die Louis Tiant affair. The pitch is trouble for North. This is drilled into right center, and it's going to split Evans and Lynn. Evans cuts it off and fires it toward the infield. North stops at second with a one-out double, and here comes Sal Bando with a chance to put Oakland on top in this must-win game for the A's. No score. We're in the bottom of the first. The pitch from Lee to Bando is hit to right. Shallow, Evans in, North holding, Evans makes the catch. Two gone. Now it's Reggie Jackson. Four ribbies last game for Reggie. The pitch is to left and deep. Jackson takes Lee the other way, and it's gone. Rice can't bring that one back. It's a 2 nothing Oakland lead in the bottom of the first. A two-run bomb by Reggie Jackson gives the A's a 2-0 lead. With two outs in the bottom of the first, here's Rudy. Base hit up the middle for Joe Rudy, and he keeps it going. Third hit of the first inning for Oakland. Now it's tennis. Lee of the stretch, and the delivery is ball four. That's going to get action going in the Red Sox bullpen. Daryl Johnson not waiting around. And it's going to be Rick Wise. Game three starter. Getting loose. Jesus Alou comes to the plate. Chance to add to the lead. Two outs, two on. It's Rudy at second. The pitch. Base hit to left. Drops in front of Rice. Rudy is being waved around third. He is a 1-13 to with two outs. They give him a two-point bump up to 15. Rice's arm is a zero. It's a 1-15 to chance for Rudy coming home. Rice's throw to Fisk is in time. And Rice shuts, shoots down Rudy at the plate to end the Oakland first. But they get two on four hits and leave two. After just one inning, it's 2 nothing Oakland. Top of the second for the Athletic, for the Red Sox. Be Fisk. Lynn and Rice against Kenny Holtzman. The pitch. The Carlton Fisk has popped up. Dick Green under it. On the infield, dirt calling and taking for out number one. Here's Lynn. Holtzman's pitch to Freddie Lynn is drilled to center and deep. 
Billy North on his horse, and it's gone. A solo shot for Lynn, and it's 2-1 Oakland now as Rice comes to the plate. Rice just threw out his second batter of the runner, base runner at home plate in this series. Pitch to Rice, ground ball bando. He gloves it and throws to tennis for out number two. Here's Benitez with two outs and nobody aboard. Holtzman winds and delivers. Base hit for Juan Benitez. Up the middle, Billy North collects it and throws it back in. Benitez on with two outs now for Petroselli. Holtzman the stretch checks Benitez at first. The pitch to Rico is hit to left but not deep. Here comes Rudy and he makes the catch for out number three. After an inning and a half, it's a 2-1 ball game now. It'll be 8-9-1 for Oakland coming up. Fossey, Green, and the top with Campanaris. Here's Ray Fossey. And Bill Lee dots him. It's a hit by pitch. Fossey goes down to first. Green coming up. Alvin Dark flashing signs to Bobby Winkles, the third base coach. Lee, the stretch, the delivery to Green. He squares to Bunt, and he gets it down. It's bunted back to Lee. Lee looks at second, but throws to Doyle at first. And Fossey advances on the sacrifice by the Oakland second baseman. Now it's Campanaris with one out, and Fossey at second. Lee the stretch and the delivery. Hey, struck him out. First strikeout for Lee. He picked a good time for it. There's two outs now. And North coming up with Bando on deck. Pitch to Bill North is a line drive. Knocked down by Burleson. Stays on the infield. Fossey goes to third and can go no further. So there's A's at the corners now for Bando, and Wise gets up again. Bando at the plate, A's at the corners, two outs. Infield is back, the pitch. Ground ball, Petroselli, Rico to his left. He's going to go the short way to Denny Doyle, and that will retire Oakland in the second. After two innings, it's 2-1 Oakland. In game six of this best of seven, Boston leads the series three games to two. It's Burleson, Evans, and Doyle, 9-1-2 in the Boston third. The pitch to Burleson from Holtzman is hit hard by Burleson. This is deep, and this is gone to left, right down the line. Rick Burleson with a solo shot off Holtzman. It's a 2-2 ball game. And now Oakland's got to be concerned about their pitcher. Dave Hamilton gets up in the Oakland bullpen. A left-hander. Dwight Evans up. Nobody out. Top of the third. We're even at two. It's ballet time. Ground ball, Dick Green. Green gloves it and throws to tennis for out number one. One gone in the top of the third. Here's Denny Doyle. We're even at two. In game six, ground ball Campanaris to his left. Gloves it. Plants. Fires to tennis. Two gone. And now it's Yastrzemski. Holtzman's pitch, hey, struck him out, and that's two strikeouts for Holtzman in three innings. But the Red Sox get the tying run on a home run by Rick Burleson. He hit, in case you're wondering, six home runs on the 1975 season. Go to the bottom of the third, and it's a 2-2 game. Bill Lee will face Reggie Jackson, Joe Rudy, and Gene Tennis in the Oakland third. And I continue to have difficulty with my fine motor skills. <laughs> Reggie Jackson up. 
The pitch to Reggie is a base hit to left field. Drops in front of Rice and Reggie's aboard. Rudy up. Lee holds Jackson on. The delivery to Rudy and there goes Reggie and it's the hit and run. Rudy is a C hit and run and 11 is he misses the pitch. He misses, he swings and misses. Fisk firing down to Doyle, not in time. Jackson steals second. He is the lead run in this game. Bottom of the third. Lee the stretch, the next delivery to Rudy is a base hit to center. Jackson is being waved around third. Lynn has a minus three throwing arm. Jackson a one to 16. That knocks him down to a one to 13. They're gonna wave Reggie. And the throw is coming home from Lynn to Fisk. And it's in time. It's in time to nail Reggie at the plate. Eight to two if you're scoring with us. And if you are, yikes. So Rudy's at first down. There's one out. Ties, still a tie score. Boston outfielders throwing people out all over the bases. And Jesus Alou at the plate. The pitch to Alou is grounded to Petroselli. He goes to Doyle for one. The relay to Yastrzemski is in time for a rally-killing, soul-crushing 5-4-3 double play turned by the Red Sox. We go to the fourth, and it's still 2-2. Bill Lee is not pitching a masterpiece, but he's definitely keeping his team in the game. In the Boston fourth, it's Fisk, Lynn, and Rice coming up against Holtzman. Carlton's 0 for 1. This is hit to Holtzman. He gloves it, a comebacker, and flips it to Gene Tennis. Four out, number one. Freddie Lynn coming to the plate. He homered in the second to put the Red Sox on the board. This is a chance for Ray Fossey. Popped up. Under it is the Oakland catcher. He throws away the mask and makes the catch in foul territory for out number two. And now it's Jim Rice, who has one of the outfield assists today for Boston. Holtzman winds and delivers. This is hit on the ground to Campanaris. He gloves it and fires to... Tennis for the third out in the Boston fourth inning. Holtzman has now retired six in a row. We go to the bottom of the fourth, and we are tied at two. Every game in the series has been close. We've had two extra inning games and a ninth inning walk-off. Alou, Fossey, and Green are up. Oh, I'm sorry. I think... I had a Lou grounding into a double play to end the last inning, and that should have been tennis. That would have been a tennis strikeout. Well, you know what they say, that's Stratomatic. All right, so a Lou will lead off the Oakland third, fourth, sorry, bottom of the fourth. Bill Lee's pitch to him is a line drive at Burleson, and the Red Sox shortstop makes the catch. One down. Now it's Fossey. Lee's pitch to Ray Fossey is hit on the ground to Burleson. He gloves it and fires to Yastrzemski for out number two. And Dick Green is up with two outs and nobody aboard. And this is drilled by Green, and it's a base hit up the middle. Oakland has a base runner with two outs for Campanaris. Pitch to Campy, base hit center field. Green will hold at second. There's two Oakland base runners now with two outs for North. Bando is on deck. Lee the stretch and the delivery. Hit to center, but not deep. Lynn right there and we'll take it for out number three. After four complete, we're even at two. And we're getting ready for ballet. Beniquez, Petroselli, and Burleson. 7-8-9 in the Boston 5th. 
So you got a good one in game six. This is hit to left. Rudy under it. And Rudy makes the catch. Seven in a row retired for the Oakland left-hander. Petroselli up now. He's 0 for 1. We're in the top of the fifth. The score is 2-2. Hey, struck him out. And that's three strikeouts for Holtzman. Eight in a row retired. And Burleson comes to the plate. Rick tied the game with a solo homer in the top of the third. The pitch. Hit to left, Rudy back, and Rudy makes the catch for out number three. We're halfway through this one, but we've decided nothing as the score is 2-2 two -two in this ball game. Bando, Jackson, and Rudy coming up for Oakland in inning number five. Sal is 0 for 2. The pitch to him is driven to left and deep. Rice back. And it's off the wall. Ooh. Rice collects it and fires it toward the infield. Bando's got himself a double. And Rick Wise is throwing again in the bullpen along with left-hander Jim Burton. A leadoff double for Oakland. Reggie is up. Bando at second. The pitch from Lee is hit to left. Dying quail. Rice on the run, and he gets there for out number one. Now it's Rudy. First base is open. Tennis on deck. The pitch from Lee. Ground ball to Doyle. Denny gloves it and throws to Yastrzemski as Bando moves to third. And with two outs, the lead run is 90 feet away for Gene Tennis. Tennis, 0 for 1. The pitch from Lee is ball 4. Now there's A's at the corners for Jesus Alou. Chance for Jesus to drive in the lead run. Two outs, though. Bottom of the fifth. Lee the stretch. And the delivery to Jesus Alou. Ground ball, Burleson. He gloves it and goes the short way to Doyle to retire the A's in the fifth. Bill Lee is throwing a lot of pitches, but he's doing the job, and it's a 2-2 game after five innings. In the sixth, it'll be the top of the Red Sox order. Evans, Doyle, and Yastrzemski for the Red Sox against Ken Holtzman. A's have to win or the series is over. The pitch to Evans is hit to center and deep. This is over North's head, and it's going to break Oltzman's string of nine in a row retired. A double for Dewey, and the Red Sox have the leading run in scoring position. Here's Doyle. See if Daryl Johnson puts on a play here with Evans at second, and nobody out. Holtzman, the stretch, the pitch to Doyle. He squares to Bunt. He gets it down. It's toward Bando. Sal charges hard. He throws to first. Everybody's going to be safe. Doyle legs out the Bunt. And there's Red Sox at the corners with nobody out in the sixth. Dave Hamilton starts to throw again, along with left-hander Paul Lindblad in the Oakland bullpen, a pair of lefties. Yastrzemski at the plate. Oakland's infield is playing in. Evans at third, Doyle at first. Holtzman the stretch, and the delivery to Yaz. Hey, struck him out, and that's four for Holtzman. Infield remains in. Fisk is the batter. Holtzman the stretch. The delivery to Carlton Fisk is to left and deep. Driving Rudy to the wall. He makes the catch against the wall. Evans tags and will score. It's 3-2 Boston. Doyle retreats to first base and there's two outs in the sixth. 3-2 Boston lead as Fisk delivers the lead run. Now it's Lynn. He won for two and a homer in the second. The pitch to Fred Lynn, a comebacker, gloved by Holtzman. He takes a couple steps toward tennis, flips him the ball, and that retires the side in the sixth. But the Red Sox get the lead run on two hits, and they leave one after five and a half. 
It's 3-2 Boston. Bill Lee coming out to face Fossey, Green, and Campanaris in the bottom of the sixth. 8-9-1 for Oakland. Fossey 0 for 1. The pitch to him. Base hit left field. He's on with a single. Rice grabs the ball and throws it back in. And the A's have a base runner. Burton and Wise throwing again in the Boston bullpen. And Dick Green comes to the plate for Oakland. Bill Lee the stretch. And the delivery to Green. He squares to Bunt. Green, uh, it's fielded by Petroselli. Petroselli fires to Yastrzemski, and that retires Green with his second sacrifice of the game. Fossey moves to second. He's the tying run in the game now. Campanaris with a chance to bring him home. Campy's one for three. Four hits in game five for Campanaris. The pitch from Lee is a chance for Fisk. And Fisk drops the ball. Everybody's going to be safe. Fossey goes to third. Campy is safe at first. And Bill North will come to the plate. That's going to do it for Bill Lee. Daryl Johnson is on his way to the mound. Rick Wise is getting the call from the Boston bullpen. So we'll tell you about Lee, and then we'll tell you about Wise. Uh, Bill Lee went five and a third innings. He allowed 11 hits. He walked two. He hit a batter, and he struck out one. He allowed two runs so far. They're both earned. He's in line for the win. If Wise can shut down the Oakland operation here the rest of the way. Burton is throwing in the Red Sox pen, and now so is Jim Willoughby. Rick Wise... Started and lost game three of the series. He was 19 and 12 in 75, 3.95 ERA, 255 innings of work, 35 starts. And he was the winning pitcher of game six of the 1975 World Series in real life, or as the kids like to say, IRL. All right, so there's one out in the sixth, Fossey at third, Campanaris at first. The infield is going to play in. The pitch to Bill North, who is a good bunter, may get the squeeze call here. We'll see. Why is the stretch? The pitch to North. He's not bunting. Ground ball, Petroselli. Fossey breaks for home. Petroselli fires to Fisk, who applies the tag, and Fossey is out. At the plate, Campanaris goes to second. North is safe on the fielder's choice. It's still 3-2 Boston. And with two outs now, it's Bando with a chance to deliver a tying run for Oakland. Wise the stretch. Sal is one for three. The pitch to Bando is ball four. That's going to put Reggie Jackson at the plate with the bases loaded. And here comes Daryl Johnson. He wants Jim Burton, and he's going to get him. So Wise goes a third of an inning. He allows a walk, and that's it. Dick Drago is joining Jim Willoughby in the Red Sox bullpen. There are two outs. Campanaris is at third. North is at second. Bando is at first. We're in the bottom of the sixth. Jim Burton's 1975 season was a 1-2 affair with a 289 ERA in 53 innings. He had 29 games, 4 starts, so 25 relief appearances, and he was a lefty. 
Reggie Jackson is two for three at a two-run homer in the first, stole the base in the third, but was thrown out at the plate by Fred Lynn. So, let's see what happens here. Burton, the stretch. There are two outs. We're in the bottom of the six. The pitch to Mr. October. Hit to right and deep. This is driving Evans to the track, but no further. He will make the catch. And that retires Oakland in the bottom of the six. We go to the seventh. It's Boston three, Oakland two. All right, now it's Rice, Benitez, and Petroselli, ready, ready, ready against Holtzman in the Boston seventh. Pitch to Jim. Ground ball tennis. Gino gloves it and takes it himself to the base for out number one. Now it's Benitez. Juan Benitez is one for two. The pitch to him. Ground ball. Campanaris to his right, gloves it from the hole. He throws and gets Benitez by a step. Now it's Petroselli over for two. Pitch to Rico is to center and deep. Back goes north, and this one's gone. It's Petroselli's third of the series. It's a 4-2 Boston lead in the seventh inning. Now it's Burleson. The pitch to Rick is hit to center, but North is right there, and that ends the seventh. But Boston adds another solo run on a homer by Rico Petroselli. Bottom of the seventh coming. It's time to stretch him out in Oakland with the score. Uh, Boston four, Oakland two. It'll be Rudy Tennis and Alou against left-hander Jim Burton in the Oakland seventh. Willoughby and Drago are ready in the Boston bullpen. The pitch from Rudy is hit on the ground to Burleson. He gloves it and throws to Yastrzemski for out number one. Now it's tennis, 0 for 1. The pitch to Gino, he draws a walk. Burton now facing Alou. Here comes Daryl Johnson. He didn't like the matchup. And it's going to be Willoughby getting the call in the bottom of the seventh. Burton goes two-thirds of an inning. He allows a walk, and that's it. Jim Willoughby was 5-2 and two with a 3.56 ERA in 1975. He was acquired in July, I believe, from the San Francisco Giants. All right, 48 innings of work. He had eight saves. Drago remains in the Boston bullpen. And now he will be joined by Roger Moret. Lefty, righty, double-barreled action, just the way I like it. Jesus Alou is going to be hit for here in the seventh. And he will give way to Claudel Washington with one out and tennis at first. Washington is the tying run. All right. Fossey on deck. Will it be the stretch and the delivery to... Washington is a base hit to center field. It drops in right center. Around second is tennis. He's heading for third. And Washington stops at first with a single. There are A's at the corners now for Ray Fossey. Fosse is one for two. The Boston infield is going to play back. Willoughby the stretch. And the delivery to Fosse. Hey, struck him out. Two gone in the Oakland seventh. And they're going to call Dick Green back. And there is no left-hander. Oh, it's, there is a left-hander throwing in the bullpen. Moret is ready. So they're going to leave Green in there to bat. 
Tennis at third. Claudel Washington at first. Two men out. Willoughby the stretch and the delivery to Green. Chance for Fisk. And we gotta do it again. Chance for Fisk. Popped up. Nope, nope. Dribble. Cut. <laughs> Tapped in front of the plate. Fisk pounces on it and throws to Yastrzemski, and that retires Oakland in the seventh. Yeah, if I had used Holt there to hit for green, then I would have brought in Moret to face him, and then Oakland doesn't have anybody. Really, they have Manguel, I guess I could have gone with. But I like Dick Green against Jim Willoughby more than Angel Manguel against Diego or against uh, Roger Moret. So, tough call. Seventh inning is done. It's 4 2 Boston. We go to the eighth. Top of the order coming for the Bean Towners. It's Evans, Doyle, and Yastrzemski coming up. Holtzman out for his eighth inning of work. He's allowed five hits. He has not walked a batter, and he has struck out four. Pitch to Evans is ball four. Raleigh Fingers and Paul Lindblad are the occupants in the Boston, or in the Oakland bullpen. Doyle is up, lefty-lefty matchup, so Holtzman stays in for the moment. The pitch to Doyle. Hit to right field. Reggie Jackson toward the line, and he's going to get there. Four out, number one. Now it's Jastrzemski with Evans retreating to first. Gaz is 0 for 3 with a pair of strikeouts. Popped up. Campanaris on the infield dirt, calling and taking for out number two. Now it's Fisk. Here comes Alvin Dark. He wants Fingers one more time. Fingers has not had a good series. But Fisk's card against lefties is pretty deadly. Holtzman went seven and two-thirds innings, five hits, one walk, four strikeouts, three runs. They're all earned. And Evans on first is his responsibility. Fingers was nine and five in 74. A 265 ERA in 119 innings. Fisk with a chance to add a big insurance run or two here. A pitch from fingers to Fisk is a line drive caught by Green, and that'll end the top of the eighth. After seven and a half, it's Boston four, Oakland two in game six. Oakland's got to win or this thing is over. Drago and Morat are throwing in the bullpen. Top of the order for Oakland in the eighth. Campanaris, North, and Bando. Willoughby on. The pitch is drilled to left. Rice on the run. Rice gets there for out number one. Here comes Bill North with Bando on deck. The pitch from Willoughby. Hit to center, but not deep. Fred Lynn there, and he makes the catch. The Red Sox are four outs away from winning this series. Bando at the plate. One for four. He's also walked. Reggie Jackson on deck. The pitch from Willoughby. Ground ball, Denny Doyle. He gloves it and throws to Yastrzemski. For out number three, we're going to the ninth with the score. Boston 4, Oakland 2. Game 6, fingers back out with Lynn, Rice, and Beniquez on his agenda. Lynn is 1 for 3, the pitch from Raleigh. Ground ball, Dick Green to his left. He plants and throws to tennis for out number 1. Rice, 0 for 3 today, but a big assist that shot down Rudy in the first inning. The pitch from Fingers, base hit center field. Rice is aboard. Benitez coming up and being called back. 
Daryl Johnson wants to use Carbo. And so we will see the left-handed batting outfielder, Bernie Carbo, batting for the DH Juan Beniquez against the right-hander, Raleigh Fingers. Lindblad is ready in the bullpen. And we're going to see Lindblad. Here comes Alvin Dark. He wants a lefty-lefty matchup, unless, of course, they hit for Carbo. Fingers is done after two-thirds of an inning. He allowed a hit, and that's it. Lindblad's numbers in 1974, 4-4, four and four with a 2.05 ERA and a 101 innings of work, six saves. And so Carbo will face Lynn, will face Lindblad. Rice at first. The pitch to Carbo is popped up. Bando calling for it and taking it. We're out number two, and here's Petroselli with a big home run back in the seventh. Lindblad winds and delivers. Ground ball towards Dick Green right there. He gloves it and throws to tennis. And we're going to the bottom of the ninth with the score, Boston 4, Oakland 2. Last chance saloon in this series for the A's. Game 6, down 2 runs. Willoughby will face Jackson, Rudy in tennis. He's got a 2-run cushion. This is his second full inning of work. He's done an inning and two-thirds so far and only allowed a hit to this point. Reggie is not the tying run, and that's why Willoughby's still in the game with that card against lefties. All right, Willoughby winds and delivers, and this is trouble. This is a base hit for Reggie, and he's going to try for two. Lynn grabs it and fires toward Burleson. Reggie, the head first slide, gets in there, and that will be it for Willoughby. He exits after an A and two thirds. Dick Drago is getting the call from Daryl Johnson, and he's on for maybe the save. Reggie's run doesn't matter too much. Rudy is the tying run at the plate. Uh, Joe Rudy is two for four. The pitch from Drago to Rudy. Hey, struck him out. One down in the bottom of the ninth. Tennis up with Washington on deck. Tying run is tennis now. The pitch from Drago hit to left. Rice over, Rice falls down. He makes the catch, but he falls down. Jackson tags and goes to third. There are two outs now, and Claudel Washington coming to the plate against Dick Drago. The 19-year-old Claudel Washington is the last chance saloon for the Oakland A's. In the on-deck circle, Jim Holt to pinch hit for Fossey. Claudel Washington, one for one. He pinch hit for Alou in the seventh and got a single. Drago, the stretch. Looks at Jackson at third and the pitch home. Hey, struck him out. And that is going to end the series with a 4-2 Red Sox winner. Let's give you the totals. The Red Sox win the series four games, or yeah, four games to two. Uh, for the victorious and champion Red Sox, four runs on seven hits, and they committed one error. The A's, two runs on 13 base hits, and they committed no errors. Do a quick look at the stranded runners. Fifteen runners stranded by Oakland. Wow. Winning pitcher is 
Winning pitcher is Bill Lee. And the save goes to Dick Drago. Losing pitcher is Ken Holtzman. Series MVP, Rico Petroselli. Thank you for being with me. Have a great holiday. Enjoy your day. And take care of yourself. Be safe. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel, my friends. And we'll see you very, very soon. So long, everybody.